more to the left. Push it to the left. There you go. Just the first time I tried um, the root walk, I remember I was uh, screaming and you know, very, very happy, you know, I was asking all the therapists, oh, take me pictures, take me pictures, I want to show this to my family, I want to go ahead and show this to my friends, you know, that, I mean, understanding tall again after the session ended on my way to work, I was like crying because I say, oh my God, I can believe that this is happening. <laughs> Walking with a uh, rewalk twice a week, you know, for an hour and a half has helped me with my bladder, with my neuropathic pain. I have a lot of pain every day, you know, 24-7. Every time I put the suit, that, that pain level, like, minimized, gets lower and lower, and sometimes disappear. I, you know, when I walk with the robot, I don't get to feel that pain anymore. Also, you know, my digestion, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not usually hungry. So, you know, working out and, and walking, you know, I feel like I need to eat and it kind of make me feel better the whole day. Mm -hmm. To go forward, yep. Good, and come back just to home. I started, you know, with um, balancing. Oh. We were balancing forward, backwards, trying to go into the sides. Um, to not lose control, so in case I walk with a robot by myself without having any spotter, I can catch up by learning how I can prevent the falling with my crutches and stuff. So it's a learning process. The rewalk is a learning process. Every session is an improvement. All the way back. I transfer from my wheelchair to the suit, and then my therapist kind of helped me strap my legs, putting the shoes on it, you know, making they, they make sure that I'm fitting perfectly before standing up. Every time I want to walk, sit down, or stand up, I have this watch that I that I wear. The, the watch have a seat, a stem, and walk. All the way back. All the so back. Crutches, crutches. every time I want to sit go. down, I push the button to sit down, and the robot sits, and that goes, you know, on and on. Good job, good job. I think that's the farthest we've gone, right? Without stopping? That's 450 feet. You have to come prepared for the sessions, mentally and physically, because it's, it's a lot of work. You know, you, you work a lot. After being in a wheelchair for 11 years, you know, I can finally stand up and feel told the simple fact that I can look people eye to eye when I'm standing and hold hands if I want, you know, hi. It gives me a lot of satisfaction. My husband thinks that he's really cool, you know. We have never taken pictures together and like standing or holding or hugging. He usually have to kneel, kneel down and hug me or stuff like that to take pictures. But it was really cool to take pictures standing up and hugging and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. The rewalk makes me hopeful. Um, it really has improved my self-esteem. I always have been a chain for being an amputee. I never thought that I will be able to walk again because, you know, I'm missing a leg. It makes me feel like, okay, well, there is, there is hope. What will happen if tomorrow there is the cure? It's like a preparation, you know, the robot is preparing me for what is gonna come next. Go to the left.